Welcome everyone to the Spring tutorial. So today will be the second part of Server Science event. So in the first part, we have built a new timeline application just here, where we dispatch event to the client. So here I have two clients subscribed to my endpoint. Then I use Postman to dispatch the event to all my client. So my both of my client received the event. And if I change the title of the article, so here I have my last event above the page. Then ultim event, I will create another client, then send, and my event is dispatched between different subscribed client. So how we did that? In the Java code, we have created a Spring Boot application running on this port 6033. And in my Spring Boot application, I have created two endpoints. My first endpoint is for subscription, and the second endpoint is for dispatching events to all client. So in the subscription, the client just here create an event source object is the JavaScript API to do some server side event. So in the client side, we create an event source with this endpoint, which is my Spring Boot application and my endpoint uh, just here. So at this point, we create a new ECC emitter which is the object which will hold the connection between the client and the server. And this object will also handle the problem of timeout error and all. So I have used the constructor with timeout value. So I have put the, le, the maximum of uh, timeout value, but it will uh, depend on your workflow and how you will handle your different events. So then I sent a first event to initiate my ECC emitter. Then I have added a uh, lambda. When my event, my ECC emitter is completed, I will just remove it from the list. And every time I subscribe to the to, to my endpoint, I am storing the ECC emitter in a list, which is an implementation uh, of list, Java util list, and the implementation is copy on array list, which is a thread safe list. So I am adding my ECC emitter to my list to to send events to those emitter afterwards. Then I am returning the ECC emitter to the client side. So the other method is to dispatch event to different subscriber. So I am using Postman to send a simple REST request. I am just sending the title and the content of my article. Then I receive my event in this method. I transform my data to a JSON format with JSON object to be able to use it in my front end. Then for every emitter stored in my uh, list, I am sending the event, which is the news article. And if there is any problem, I have exception with this event, I am just removing the event from the list. And on the client side, on the client side, I have added an event listener, which is listening to this latest news, to this event name. Then when I will receive the event, I will just use JSON parse to parse my event and to put to add a block of my news article. I have also added an event listener for error. Every time I have an error, I will close the event source. For example, if there is a problem with the server, 
using the event source. So today we will see how to send uh, how to send event to a specific user. So in our case here, every time I am sending so general news, every time I am sending an event, so all the clients are receiving the event. But how can we send an event to a specific user? So we'll do that. So as you are seeing here, we are using this endpoint. Localhost 6033 subscribe. But you can imagine if all the clients are subscribing to this host, the server cannot distinguish between uh, different users. But in real time, uh, in real world application, every client have some information, uh, unique information. For example, uh, in uh, most of application user I, uh, are authenticating, so they have a login, a user ID, some unique uh, data. But in the tutorial, I will just create a random JavaScript number, just here, like that. So here I have a random number. So every time I will create my client, I will uh, I will generate a user ID, which will be random. Then I will add this user ID on a span just here. So you can see uh, the user ID on the browser. So now, if I load my client, so the user ID for this client is 613. So for this one, is this one, 744. And every time I will load my client, I will have a different user ID. So I will use that to target a specific user and send an event to a specific user. So how to do that? So First, we have to add a parameter just here. So for example, user ID. Equal. Then I will add the random user ID. Just here. Then in my method of subscription, I will add a request param. And in this request param so in this request param it will be the user id just just here like that so here i have a user id so how can can i store the different sec emitter to distinguish between client so i want to use a list but this time I will use a map. So a map of string SEC emitter. And we are good. I have just to import my map. So now I won't store my SEC emitter in the list, but in a map. So here. I will just put this in another method. So here, private void send init event. I will give him my ECC emitter. So just to put uh, more uh, clean code. And I will just put this here and I will send my event, init event, here. So it's more clear, there is no boilerplate. So now, in my subscription method, now you know that it's a subscription, so I can delete it. So I have to store my ECC emitter in, the, in this map this time. So here I am sending the first, then here, put. 
So as a key, I will put the unique user ID and as a value, I will put my ECC emitter. And that's all. And uh, here I have added on completion. So when my ECC emitter is completed, I will just remove it from the list. But I can also trigger some event on timeout. So on timeout, it's not like this. So on timeout, and on error but in error I will have an exception so if there is an error or a timeout or a, a completion of my ECC emitter I will just remove it from my map or from my list now I am using the map to send to a specific user so that's all for the subscription now, how can we send an event to a specific user? So here we are dispatching event to all client, but now to a specific user. So here I have to add another request param, which will be my user ID. User ID here. So here uh, I want to touch at this to build my article, but here I will change this a little. So first I will use my map. I will ask for my user ID. Give me my user ID. So if the user ID is not null, is different from null, then I can use it. I can send an event to my emitter, specific user emitter. And if there is an exception, an IO exception, I will just remove it from the map. It's the same principle. And here um, I am sending the event last latest news. So that's all. We have finished the server side and now I will change my postman request because I have added a request param just here user id so here I will put some user id so dispatch event to specific user I can change the two so I have to change my method in my postman save save and that's all I will restart my application <coughs> my application is started then let's test this together so here, first subscription, the user ID of my client is 274. So another client, 322, another one, 767. So I have three users with different user ID. And in my postman, I want to send my user so here it will be corona ending news i want to send uh, this event to this user so 274 send user id is not present uh, because um, ah i didn't select it so send and now I have my news corona and the news for this specific user but for other user I didn't receive anything 
because I am sending the event to a specific user. Now I want to send an uh, event to this user. So soccer great news send. So I am receiving this event for this client but not for other client. I always have a, I will always have a corona in the news here. So I can send many events here. Here I don't have any event and here I have many event. So that's all. That's how we send an event to a specific user. So thank you for watching. And uh, and I hope that I will have the occasion to do some tutorial with uh, some broker because this example are using a first uh, um, one instance of Spring Boot application. But imagine if you have many uh, Spring Boot application. So if one user is subscribed to one endpoint another Spring Boot can receive this event and cannot have the, the, the user, the ECC emitter, storing in uh, the instance. So, thank you for watching and uh, subscribe if you can and see you for more tutorial. Thank you.